Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this reading, please do me a huge favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. All right, so let's get into it. So we're continuing on with our pick a card readings, okay? Um, please go and check it out. If you haven't seen the first one, I just uploaded it to YouTube. It is a pick a card messages from your person, okay? For those of you who are in connections. This particular um, pick a card reading will be for those who are not dealing with anyone, okay? But if you take a, if you get a message from it, if the messages resonate for you, awesome, okay? So, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, please allow me to see the messages for the Collective of Singles. Collective of Singles, please, and thank you. My beautiful lovelies, pick your card. Go ahead and pick your card because then I'm going to go in with the tarot and um, expound on the message that's given for you, okay? Messages for my single collective, please. Okay, so we have, uh, I'll just switch it up a little bit. I'll switch it up a little bit. Just a little bit. We have the blue light piece, so the light, this is communication. We have, um, what was that one? Jasper. It says Jasper. What is Jasper good for? I don't remember what Jasper is good for. I believe it's grounding, but y'all please let me know down in the comments if y'all know because I really don't remember. <laughs> Green Adventure Eye, like we've talked about before, is for blessings, healing, success, okay? Financial blessings, success, abundance, abundance, okay? So, starting from left to right, my left, your right, um, if you pick the blue piece, right? So, to like, this is about communication. Let's see what spirit has for you. Self love, creation and intentions. Beautiful message. Love it. For those of you who are wondering what deck I'm using, I am using the Yin Yang Oracle by Stellar. Okay. I actually just ordered another um, deck from her Etsy shop. Probably will be here like in another week or so. Hopefully. Um, we'll see how that goes. But her decks are absolutely beautiful. And I particularly love this deck because I feel that the messages can resonate not just with twin flames, even though this yin yang, right, is for twin flames, but it can also apply just generally, you know. So that first part we've got is self-love, creation, intentions, right? And Spirit's message for those of you who pick the soda light, which is this card is absolutely beautiful. Um, right now is a time for you to focus on yourself, on your needs. What makes you happy? What is your ten of cups to you? Is it is it marriage and family, which is great and wonderful? I'm not knocking that at all. But what other little things in your life do you want to achieve to to bring you that overall ten of cups satisfaction? Right? Um, what about peace of mind? You know, what about financial stability? Like, there's so many things when you set your intentions. On what you want and it's almost like manifesting but praying to the most high for the blessings to come into your life you can gain them so let's find out what else spirit has for you and i'm gonna try to time stamp these okay so you know where if you pick this card where the reading starts spirit guys angels and ancestors please give me the messages for Creation, intentions, and self-love. What messages do you have for the collective, okay? All right, so we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. Spirit saying at this point in time, it's time for you to let go of some things. It's time for you to end things that you've been holding on to. Um, maybe you've actually, maybe some of you have gone through a betrayal. Maybe someone close to you has really, really hurt you. It is time for you to grow from that, learn from that, especially if this was a divine counterpart or twin flame connection here. Um, grow from that experience. Every, every experience that we go through in life is for our growth, our personal growth and development. Okay, show me more. Tell me more about self-love, creation, and intention spirit. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, communication. Communication and action. It's time for you to take action, to go towards. Look, she's sitting here like she's ready to go. 
she's ready to go you know it's time for you to take action towards what it is that you truly want eight of wands is about travel i mean it's typically about communication but it's also about travel for some of you yeah it's time for you to move relocate reevalu reevaluate your relationships with certain people you know reevaluate your reevaluate your situation living living arrangements work arrangements you know all those environments around you because it's time for you to focus on yourself and what with self-love and creation intentions this is my manifestation energy that i get here it's time for you to manifest what you want make also to communicate with someone you know what i mean communicate with those around you what you what you expect okay what you expect Yep. With the moon in reverse, this is about confusion. Some of you may be feeling a little bit confused about a situation, but I feel like you may be getting news about what happened with this person. What happened with this situation with, with the eight of wands? Because that's about communication um, for some of you, not for everyone. Please take the messages as they resonate. The messages won't resonate with every person. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. And if this is not your story, that's okay. Right? Yeah. I feel like you were confused about something, but I feel like Spirit's going to give you a message. A message is going to come from someone. You may receive a message, a text message, an email, a phone call about a situation where you were, um, things, a situation ended. Could have been a job ending, could have been a relationship, but you, you're going to receive clarity, I feel, with the Queen of Swords here. She sees things for what it is. The Queen of Swords is very smart. And then you make plans on how to move forward. Remember, I told you it's time for you to take action, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy. So it's time for some of you to take action to come out of this, this energy of feeling, um, you know, like you can't do it with the moon in reverse, right? Um, having fears, subconscious fears about moving forward in your life. It's time for you to stand in your truth with this Queen of Swords energy. Get up and go, okay? Spirit says get up and go. That way you can have a passionate new start in your life and be able to um, manifest the things that you want with the Ace of Wands there. Okay, that's for some of you. That's for some of you. All right, so. That message was for a select few. Let's go on to card number two. Card number two, Jasper. Let's see what it says. Ooh, masculine. Okay. <laughs> for some of you, you are in your masculine energy. You are in that masculine energy. But for some of you, this is in regards to your divine masculine. Okay. Let's uh, find out what the messages here are. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the highest vibrational frequency only. Please let me see the messages for the collective in regards to masculine. What do they need to know in regards to the message of masculine? drained uh, with the ten of swords you see how all them swords are in her bag you're drained this person has drained you they've drug you through the mud you're just mm -mm, you're done you're done ten of swords tell me more you just like you're at your wits end for some of you y'all are just at like you know what i'm done i'm tired of talking i'm tired of explaining myself i'm just done with it Three of Cups, Three of Cups, because some of you just want to be happy. You want to be happy. You don't want to be in this low energy. You see the difference in the cards? Let me show y'all. Like, this is really amazing how you can see the energy difference. But you see how, like, dark and gloomy the Ten of Swords is, right? Y'all see that? Sorry, my light's a little bit bright. And then you see how light, there's a rainbow, actually, in the Three of Cups. For some of you, y'all entered this situation because you know that your masculine is involved in a third-party situation. And it could be a karmic. It could definitely be a karmic involved. For some of you, it is a karmic involved. But for some of you, the third party could be 
they don't have their shit together they don't they don't have enough finances to come and be that provider for you they can't help you in any type of way they have other situations and things and baby mamas and all this other drama going on so you're just like you know what i'm done i'm done for some of you or they're still with a karmic you know for some of you it is a karmic and they're still trying to figure out what they want you're just like you know what i'm over it or for some of you the person just can't simply do something as simple as communicate with the ten of swords that's air energy that's about communication yeah this person is not able to uh build with you they're not able to build with you the three of pentacles is in reverse this person doesn't have what it takes to build a solid stable foundation for some of you this person is a player or in a player like type of energy right um three of swords three of swords in reverse and you're tired of being hurt by this person you're trying to come out of that energy you're trying to come out of the three of swords being hurt because you feel like this is going nowhere the hangman some of you feel like this is going nowhere you say you know what most high heavenly father divine i cannot take this anymore i can't take it anymore um yeah for some of you okay this this may not be your story but like i said take what resonates and leave the rest all right, so let's get into card number three. Let's see what card number three is. Ooh, the green adventure line. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? some of you may be out with friends celebrating this week maybe this weekend possibly be careful be safe okay especially with the coronavirus still going around be careful king of wands some of you are like going towards your goals yes i love this energy king of wands going towards your goals going towards your dreams knowing what you want temperance you're trying to balance things out in your life especially your emotions you're just trying to be really more laid back and not so stressed out about things for some of you and taking your time, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, like love relationships and just trying to um, really balance things out. For some of you, you may be you may receive um, a call or a text from a fire sign that wants to reconcile with you. With the king of wands that's fire energy right and that's a king so this is definitely a divine masculine energy and then we have temperance here which is sagittarian energy right and this is about restoring restoration with the temperance um yeah for some of you you're rest you're gonna be being like going out celebrating having a good time possibly with a fire sign for some of you but for some of you you're just trying to balance things out and find your own happiness go towards what makes you happy with that that king of wands energy Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Be aware of a Queen of Pentacles being in your energy in reverse. Because, ooh, okay. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She is, um, she's very selfish. So be aware of that. Be aware of being in that type of energy or be aware of someone being in your energy in being in your energy who is in that frame of mind of not wanting to give you know, are not wanting to help, especially when they have the ability to. Spirit says, um, if you have, you should give because blessings come to those who, who help those in need when they can, you know. Uh, be aware of someone being in that energy towards you. And if, if, if that person is in that energy towards you, don't deal with them. Just don't even worry about it. Because that person's going to receive their karma. You know, if you reach out to someone for help and this person is able to help and they don't, yeah. Two of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords. So some of you, yeah, like I said, some of you may be receiving communication from someone, especially a fire sign, because the Two of Swords is in reverse here. Usually in the upright, the Two of Swords is about being in a stalemate energy, indecisive, right? But I feel like someone may be actually wanting to communicate now. Maybe somebody that had you had blocked, I feel, with the Two of Swords. For some of you, you may have blocked this person. And they may be reaching out to you to let you know that they want to move forward. They want to balance things out. They want to reconcile. Um, for some of you, they're no longer in a third-party situation or they're no longer dealing with an external situation outside of the connection. 
and they want to come and offer their love. Look at this, Nine of Cups. They want to come express their love. Okay. <laughs> this is in regards to a masculine, y'all. Okay, card number three. Adventurine, right? Trust. Divine timing. Divine timing. So Spirit's saying, this is the time, but you have to trust the process. Okay? You have to trust the process. Spirit, guys, angels, and ancestors, please allow me to see the messages for the collective in regards to uh, trust and divine time. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Maybe you thought something should have happened within a certain time frame and it didn't. And now it's actually starting to come together. Now it's starting to take off and you're actually going to see why. Ten of Cups. Yeah. And it's going to bring you your Ten of Cups. Your overall wish fulfillment, what you've been waiting for. Lightning. This is what you came for. Lightning. Strikes every time she moves. Right? Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's going to bring you your Ten of Cups. Maybe you were in a connection that was um, not... It was You weren't happy in that connection before with the Four of Wands in reverse. You It was lacking uh, stability. It was lacking stability there. For some of you, you could have been in a very difficult home situation, a family situation that was uncomfortable. And now you're going to have your... Yeah, you were overwhelmed. For some of you, Ten of Wands, there was a lot of drama and Spirit saying, you know what, this is the time. Change is coming, okay? Change is coming and you're going to see very clearly why, why it didn't happen when you thought it should have happened and why you had to go through the drama that you went through, right? Um, but yeah, blessings are coming, Ten of Cups. Trust the process, Spirit says. You go through a period, of, sometimes we have to go through the bad to get through the, get to the great, you know what I mean? For some of you, I had the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You may have been tempted to leave. You may have been tempted to just walk away. But look, Spirit says now you can come out in your emperor energy. For some of you, this is a message for you, specifically divine masculines who are watching this video, that you may have been feeling overwhelmed in your mind about a particular uh, marriage, a family situation with your divine feminine. But Spirit is saying that the Ten of Cups is coming. And you're going to be able to see it very clearly. There's going to be victory and success here with the Ace of Swords. It's going to be a victory. Um... But for some of you, yes, things are going to balance out um, with your Divine Masculine. And you're going to be able to have that Ten of Cups, that end-all, be-all. But overall, just stability. Because the Emperor is Aries energy. He's all about balance, control, structure, organization. So everything's going to be balanced out. You're no longer going to be stressed out. Um, and things are going to be looking up. Okay, but trust. Trust the Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors. Trust the Most High Heavenly Father, however you identify okay but trust trust and know that they're guiding you all right so that has been the pick a cart readings please like if you enjoy the video comment down in the comment section below share and subscribe and until next time love you guys